Hi everybody and thanks for joining me here today back on my channel and thanks for watching this video. So today we're going to be doing something you guys have requested quite highly from me um, and it's something you guys would have seen in my emails which is a GIF in my email signature. And this is something I really want to show you guys. So before we go any uh, further, I'd just like to say um, I use Wii Video for this but there is other platforms available to use. Uh, I'm just going to show you how I do it here in Wii Video today. But it is worth noting you would need an upgraded account to get rid of the watermark in the top right hand corner you'd get with a free account. Um, so if you haven't already upgraded with your school account, um, you can get limited time offer like I've got on offer here. Or if you do the PD programs with Wii Video and become an ambassador like I am as well, you get another account which has full upgraded access forever. So just worth noting before going any further. But I'm going to show you how I do it here in Wii Video. So when you open up Wii Video, it will ask you to sign in with your Google school account or a Google email of your choice, and um, which will take you to this page just here, which is what they call a dashboard. So here uh, is where we start our journey. So we're going to create a new GIF here in a new Wii Video GIF creator, and it's going to ask us for a title and where we'd like to start editing. Um, so I'm just going to put it into Global Gag here for a minute and click Start Editing. Now, what you'll notice straight away, if I move my face just a second, is you'll see that I have just video layers here. I don't have any audio, which means I can't have any audio in my GIF, which isn't a problem, but it's just to make you aware. And where it says video, it doesn't mean you have to have video, it can be images as well. So, what I'm going to do to start with is I need to upload some of my badges into the My Media page that you see just here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new folder to start with by right clicking on the background here and just putting in um, email GIF. Okay. And what it will do is it should open up that folder for me. In this instance, it hasn't. I'll just scroll down to find it. And it's going to ask, uh, it's going to show me that the folder is empty. So, I need to import some badges for me to use here. So, I'm just going to click import and go from my computer but you can go from Google Drive, Box, Dropbox and OneDrive as well so it's nice to see the integrations that Wii Video has there. So I'm going to open up and put my Google badges in straight away so my level 1, 2 and trainer and I'm also going to add in a few others for you guys as well so let me go back to get another set of badges so let's go with uh, Flipgrid, let's go with the one to and student voice ambassador there we go that'll do right so you'll see i now have some badges in my media page here and i'd like to have those inside my gif and you can do this for as many badges as you have i think i had something like 30 or 40 now on my normal account but for the purpose of this video i don't want to bore you with how long it would take me to do that um although it doesn't take too long but i don't want to upload all the badges and show you that individually so i'm just going to do it with a small collection here so You'll see I have three video layers on the side automatically and by standard you'd probably just drag these badges into video layer one and leave it as that because that's chronological order and being OCD that's probably what I would do as well. But you'll notice straight behind there is a black background behind your logo and you know if you've got an email template or using Gmail your background's white so actually you don't want that black background there. So to get around that problem, all I did is I dragged these both up to video layer 2, went to the background tab here, and went to solids, and just dragged that white background to video layer 1, and dragged it out for the length of my video. So I'm just going to drag it uh, right to the end here for, for the argument's sake, and we'll go back and adjust it later on. But now when I go back to uh, the educator badge there, you can see it's now got white background, so it would seem like it's... Uh, fluent with your Gmail uh, white background as well. So it's really quite nice. Okay, so all I'm gonna do is drag all these badges in just by simply clicking on them and dragging them down into my video layer. I'll drag all of my badges in. Okay, and you'll see I have the white background behind. So what I do now is just adjust this white background so it hits the end of this video. But at the moment, you know, this is 45 seconds long, this whole clip. And I'm currently at 30 seconds. That's quite a long time for six badges there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to adjust the duration for all of them to make them a little bit quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the first image here, so educator level one, hold my shift key and select the end image. So it will highlight everything in between. Right click and adjust the duration. Now it's going to ask me for how many seconds I'd like each one to be. So uh, for the argument's sake here, I'm going to go with 0.8 seconds per image which will make them quite small like that. 
And then I'll just drag my white background again so it matches over there. And I can preview this just by dragging my marker back to the beginning, clicking the space bar, looking through at how they uh, change. And you can adjust the duration to however you want. It's just personal to me. I quite like 0.8 seconds. All right. So once you've got this as you want it, what you're going to do, I have to move my face again, is click finish in the top right hand corner and it'll ask you for a title. So I'm just going to put email gif uh, demo and click set. So it'll ask you whether you want to export as a video or a gif. Obviously, you want it to be a gif your email. Um, it presets to medium as the resolution. I'd leave it as that personally, but it's up to you. You can go small or large if you want to, but I always use medium. And I choose to save to Wii Video and to Google Drive at the same time. And you can choose your thumbnail here if you want to. Uh, it's not very, you know, in Wii Video, the thumbnail options aren't great, uh, but you don't really need to worry about that for what we're doing today. So then you're going to click export. It will take a few seconds to do this, depending on how long the clip is. If it's up to 45 seconds, it will take a little bit longer than if it is, uh, say, four or five seconds that we've got here. So it will export here. And now it will give me the option to share on Facebook, Twitter, and all that sort of cool stuff as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Download. So it goes into my downloads on my computer. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to upload that into uh, your inbox as well. So I'm going to go over here to Gmail. And you can see I've just got an email from Wii Video saying it's been exported. I'll move my face again. And the first thing I'm going to do is go to my settings cog up here and go to see all settings. So that will take me to my normal settings page you guys would know and recognize. And it automatically loads me onto the general page. So I'm just going to scroll down till I get to the signature part. So here I can see I've already created one, uh, a demo one for us to look at here today. So I've got all my name and my titles and all that sort of cool stuff. So I want to click enter or uh, yeah, enter at the end of here or return just so I get a line underneath uh, my text here and go to insert image. Now I know the GIF technically isn't an image, but that's what Google counts it as. Um, so I can see I can upload from Drive here or I can upload uh, directly from the computer. So that's what I did because I downloaded it. I'm just going to drag my GIF into that file upload there. Give it a few seconds to load itself. And in a moment, you'll probably think, where is that? Well, if you scroll down, it's actually come up massive, even though we only went for a medium. So you can actually just click on this badge anywhere, and it says original size at the moment. I always make it medium. And you'll see there it now is sitting uh, as I have in my email. So what you need to do is just make sure you click Save Changes at the bottom here. And then when you go to create a new email, you'll see the GIF appears at the bottom. It does take a few seconds to load. This is my score account. This is a little bit different to the one we just created, but you can see all my GIFs are scrolling through just here. And that's exactly the same way as I do it for, for this GIF here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, please share with anybody you may think uh, this will be useful to. Make sure you subscribe and like this video, um, and I hope to see you next time. Take care.